Hold the chatter. Hold the chatter. One minute to fly out. One minute. Timber. What we just saw was Ryan Demolition take down one of the columns and vents for the Crystal Creek Bridge. The process they use is they pre-drill holes at the base of the column at the ground level. And when it's set up, they set charges to fail that column in the direction that it fell. This one actually worked. The one right up the slope actually fell the opposite way. The, the idea is for them to fell those columns in a direction where they can access them with their equipment to rubbleize the concrete, take the steel out of the columns, and, and use the concrete as fill later. Uh, ground was broken for this project back in 2005. Construction really got underway in earnest in 2006. Once the slopes were cleared, the design builder uh, understood better the magnitude or the scope of the landslides at issue here. Uh, at that point, uh, the contractor actually uh, wanted to be released from the contract. We negotiated a suspension to the project in 2007, kept the contractor or design builder on board, construction resumed in 2008, and went for about two years. During that time, the design builder constructed a lot of landslide mitigation in these bridge areas, specifically the four bridge areas that are under uh, the focus today. In February of 2010, uh, the design builder notified ODOT that landslide activity was continuing, that the uh, landslide mitigation had actually failed. At that point, the design builder and ODOT entered into a dispute over who was responsible for the additional cost, the delay of the project, so on and so forth. That dispute was settled just this year. The design builder agreed to pay ODOT $15 million. At that point, ODOT took control of the project and began designing phase one of construction, which is what we're seeing today the horizontal drains, the trench drains, and the demolition of the bridge structures. Uh, phase two of construction is still in design. It's expected to uh, be in construction beginning next year, and we anticipate having traffic on the new alignment, the roadway paved and striped, new traffic on the alignment by 2015.